Okay, the title of this is, Why is Church So Dry? I'd like to read from Isaiah 58, 9. You shall call, and the Lord will answer you. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. If you take away from your midst yokes of oppression wherever you find them, the finger pointed in scorn towards the oppressed or the godly, and if you take away from your midst every form of false, harsh, unjust, and wicked speaking. A dry church is a church with little to no answered prayer. A dry church is a church with little to no fresh revelation or clear exposition of Scripture. And you'll find a common thread in many spiritually dry places of worship, no matter how small or how large that church may be. And that commonality is a failure to take away from their midst yokes of oppression wherever they find them, particularly among the weak and among the oppressed or among the abused. They fail to remove from their midst the finger pointed in scorn toward the abused. Now, in many churches, they not only fail to remove that bony finger, they lead the way in heaping scorn on the oppressed and the abused. That bony finger tells the oppressed ones that they must forgive their abuser. That, f that bony finger pointed in scorn will tell the abused victim that God hates divorce which twists the meaning of that verse in the Bible to meet their own agenda. These churches will place the burden on the victim to, to go ahead and accept the violation of their natural rights while little to no burden at all is placed on the abuser. That abuser should be excommunicated from the church immediately. And if that church frowns on divorce from a malignant person, it's time to get as far away from that church as you can possibly get. Far too often, churches will engage in every form of falsity and injustice in order to hide things. They want to hide those things that could tarnish their false image. And this is why so many churches are spiritually dry. They allow the tares to grow up together with, and they allow the tares to choke the life out of the wheat. God is not going to dwell in a church like that. God is not going to answer prayers for a church like that, and he's not going to manifest his presence in a church like that. Subsequently, that church will be what we used to call in my old circles, dry.